Hi guys, this is uh, Aman from How to 101 and uh, in today's video I'm gonna take you through the process of installing uh, MUI M -U -I -U -I, hope I'm pronouncing it right MUI RAM on uh, HP touchpad and as you can see I have an HP touchpad running CyanogenMod uh, Alpha 3 uh, all I have done so far is uh, I went to the I went to the forum and I just have downloaded the file. You click on download it here and I'll provide the link in the description to this form. And I'm currently running, uh, as I said, CyanogenMod Alpha 3 for touchpad. So let's go ahead and uh, reboot into recovery. Now with this method, you don't need to connect your touchpad to your laptop or anything. You just download the file to your touchpad and we'll proceed from here. I'm waiting for it to reboot. Okay, it's rebooting. And here we are. These are the recovery options. First, let's go ahead and wipe everything. Wipe data and a factory reset. This will wipe everything. I recommend wiping everything because you know it's a new ROM and you want to start fresh. So wipe data slash factory reset. Let's go ahead and do a yes. Okay, it's now wiping. Okay, now that's done. The next is wipe cache. It's really good to wipe all the stuff so you don't get into any sorts of, you know, force foreclosures and stuff. Force closes, sorry. Okay, cache wipe is complete. Now let's go to advanced wipe. Delvic cache. As you can see, cache wipe it. Oh, I have to do yes. Delvic cache is wiped. Then let's wipe battery stats and hit yes. Battery stats are wiped and we are done with the uh, wiping. Let's go to go back and then install zip from SD card. Click on that. Then is choose first option is choose zip from SD card. And that's what we're going to choose. Now it should be in your downloads folder because it's by default it goes into download. So let's find download. It's right here. And look for the MIUI US tenderloin 2.3.7 English DEO underscore zip A underscore signed underscore scott951.zip and press the power press the main home button and let's yes it make sure you're installing the right file hit the home button again and it's installing movie Is the famous logo coming up? I really uh, like this ROM. Most people think it's kind of iPhone ish, but they really bring iPhone and Android really the best features of them together. So, you see, 
I used to own Evo 4G and I used to run movie on that. I never ran it on touchpad before. That's my first time. So let's see how it plays out. It says install from SD card complete. Okay. Let's go back. And reboot system now. Okay. Hope everything worked good and we should have movie working fine now. Okay, it's still loading. The famous Cyanogen Mod logo. Here we go. Oh nice, they have sound and boot animation too. Now I read the post and they have said that they have included Gmail and Market by default in the zip. So you should be able to install rest of the Google Apps from there, from the Market when you log in. Okay, looks like it has booted up. So it's slide down to unlock. It says a new notification received track down and it, they have installed go launcher by default more than 4000 themes get your makeover from market use menus and then theme to choose themes i guess that's uh, the go launchers main quick settings Quick settings, copy icons from launchers, etc. And here we are. Let me turn this around. Here's a first quick look at uh, the movie ROM for touchpad. Oh, nice. They will give you options. Nice, cool. Transitions, as you can see. And, uh, obviously, you will get all those Go Launcher features. You will get their widgets and stuff if you are a big Go Launcher fan. And you can install Launcher Pro or uh, ADW. X or SPB, whichever one you prefer, from the market, and it will run. And this is the app drawer. As you can see, the icons are a little iPhone ish, but that's what Mui is all about. It brings Android and iPhone together. And that's about it. And uh, that's a quick look at how to install Mui on HP Touchpad if you're already running CyanogenMod uh, Alpha 7 on it. And if you are starting from scratch, I mean, if you are coming from WebOS, then read the form. They have simple instructions provided there. You need to install AC, ME installer, and stuff like that. And they will guide you through the process. And that's all I have for now. See you later, guys.